Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and I bet you're wondering from the title, how is this guy going to do a rotisserie chicken in a pellet smoker, in a pit boss pellet smoker, without any modifications? No mods. How's he going to do it? Well, found this little gadget. It's called the Roto Tisserie. 80 bucks, Amazon, not an affiliate. And basically, this is it. So, haven't used it yet, don't know if it'll even work. Here's the motor for the Roto Tisserie. All right, so here's the on off switch. Turn it on, it spins, push the button, it's off. You just take a key and you wind it up. Didn't say how many times to wind it, but it's supposed to last for about an hour. But obviously, first time, I'm gonna probably check this every 20 minutes or so to make sure it works. So let me show you how easy it is to put together. Okay, so this rototisserie comes with this, I don't know, what do you call it, the spit? Put the chicken on there. It comes with a drip tray. I'm not gonna use the drip tray today. I want the heat from underneath on the pellet grill to just heat all around the chicken. And this is uh, what we use to hold the rotisserie. And all you gotta do is fold up one side. It's got little arms right here. Put it through the hole on both sides. Just like that. Okay, how easy was that? Done, there you go, that's what it goes on. This is where your drip tray would go. Not using it, okay? Again, this is the motor. The motor just slides on right here. And you put your chicken on here. And you stick in like that and you turn it on and it turns. It turns pretty slow, so we'll see. So I'm gonna get the chicken on here. Pellet grill's heating up as soon as that's hot enough. We're gonna slap that chicken right on there. So let's get the chicken on here and uh, see what we can do. Okay, before I didn't show you, I had to get my handle. So here's the handle and this just goes right here and you wind it up, okay? And again, on, off. They also gave a little knob to go in there. So if you wanna just twist it like that, you can. Okay, just like that. Okay, seems like it's getting a little tight right there. So it comes, with, comes like this, with the drip tray, with the attachment for your chicken. And for 20 bucks, I bought the skewer attachment, and that goes in there like that. So we will be doing a cook with that. If this even works, we'll see. Anyway, let's get the chicken on, get it on that pellet smoke. We'll see how this works. It's just a three prong. These prongs do not come off through the bird. Okay, and then we'll get our other end piece on. This piece does not adjust in this way, so, and this piece doesn't really lock. So let's just hope this thing uh, sticks on there. Guess we will be finding out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me get this on the rotisserie and we'll take a look at it. There we go, let's see how it spins. So while it's spinning, I'm gonna get a little more seasoning on there. I'm gonna get this on the grill. Let's see how it does. All right, we are up to temp. Let's get this chicken spinning. Okay, I'm gonna set this right over the fire pot. Looks about centered.
There we go. A rotisserie in a pit boss with no modifications. Okay, there you have it. We've got the rotisserie in the pit boss pellet smoker, no electricity, and they say you could put one of these in an air fryer oven if you have one big enough for that. You can put it in the oven in your house. You can put it on your propane grill, your charcoal grill. You can even put it over an open fire as long as you got a grate to set it on. So let's hope this thing works great. I've been wanting to get a rotisserie for a while that I can put in my pit bus pellet smoker and uh, see you in about 20 minutes. We'll give it a check. Our 20 minutes in, holy beep. <laughs> Okay, did you see that burnt chicken? <laughs> Surprised the heck out of me, <laughs> I gotta tell ya. So I stopped the chicken, I took the internal temp, it was only at 91 degrees, so I moved the bird over, I turned the grill down to uh, 250, and I let it run for three and a half hours. And uh, the last half hour, I actually turned it up to 300 because I wasn't hitting that 165. So I hit it to 300, I moved it back over to the fire pot, I put the drip pan on, so live and learn, you don't give up, you learn from my mistakes. 350 is too hot right over the fire pot. So today, that chicken turned out really good by the way. Check it out. So here's a chicken with the burnt skin fully cooked and here it is without the skin. Look at that, it was delicious. So you see, after we peeled the skin off, the chicken itself was juicy, it was delicious. But I ran out of the store, I got another chicken and we are ready to load it back on again. Today I've got it at 300. Today I'm going to use the drip pan. And uh, one thing I learned, okay, so the Roto motor, I checked it out 20 minutes, it was still turning when I was burning. 40 minutes it was still turning, so I'm like, all right, it's supposed to go an hour. I went to an hour and it wasn't running, it wasn't spinning. So after that, every 30 minutes I checked the chicken, make sure I wasn't burning it. <laughs> well, I couldn't tell, it was already black. So anyway, I cranked it up. I used the little uh, crank on there. And it is kind of cumbersome. You gotta kind of pull it out. And when you turn it, the whole chicken turns. Um, so that's kind of a, not really a pain. It's an inconvenience kind of, you gotta, you know, it's supposed to last an hour. Right now I cranked it up. It did stop cranking. So maybe this time it'll go for an hour. I didn't know how far to crank it up. So it stopped, it should be ready. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. It cleaned up pretty good. This this is uh, enamel coated, so it did. You, they say you can throw it in the dishwasher. I didn't throw the motor in the dishwasher, but I got it all wet and it's still dripping a little bit of water. So I'm um, assuming that's going to be fine. Round two. Let's do this again. So the pellet grill up to 300. We're gonna let it roll again. I'm not gonna put it over the fire pot at first. I'm gonna move it to the side. I'm gonna let it do its thing. And then if I need to, if we need to get it uh, heated up, if we need to get that skin a little crisper, we'll just adjust. But so far, from the way it performs, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, you know, winding it up, whatever. After you do it a couple of times, it's easy. Uh, I just wish they had a way to, uh, to uh, unlock the clutch so that you could wind it up without winding the whole chicken. So anyway, let's get it on. So this is how I have it set up now. You know, the motor's a little loud, sure, but no big deal. See, I have the drip pan in. Here's the fire pot right here. I am gonna probably check in 10 minutes, make sure it's not burning, but anyway, we're gonna let this roll. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Let's go take a look and hopefully we don't have a holy crap. <laughs> 20 right, minutes. Ready? <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. We are not burning it. It is still turning. Look at that thing go. All right, we'll let it go again. 40 minutes. Looking good. We'll uh, check it in about 10 to see if it's still spinning and see if it'll go an hour. Okay, 45 to 50 minutes in, it stopped spinning. So what you gotta do is Take your key, crank it up. See how the chicken is spinning? 
That's the only drawback. But it's not burning. <laughs> okay, that's about 30 turns. And I'll just turn it this way. Let's face the other way. We'll let this side go. We'll keep an eye on it. We're about 50 minutes okay. in. Two and a half hours in. We did not burn this one. Like we're 148. So we got a little ways to go, 149. All right, we'll let it go. Okay, three hours. Look at that. Doesn't that look, that looks a lot better than the 20 minutes of the other one, right? <laughs> so this is called the rototisserie. You do have to wind it up. I'd say every 40, 45 minutes. Is it a pain? Well, you know, you gotta check your food anyway, right? And make sure it's not burning like my first 20 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let this rest a few minutes. Uh, I'll cut into it just so you can see how nice and juicy it is. But uh, all in all, this little rotisserie, pretty sweet. All right, rototisserie worked great in my opinion. I don't have any problem with messing with it, cranking it up every 45 minutes. It didn't quite go an hour, it did go 50 minutes, but you know, why push it? You're gonna check it, you know, make sure it's not burning. Crank it up while you're in there. Three hours, 300 degrees, not above the fire pot. And there we go, isn't that beautiful? A nice rotisserie chicken done in the pit boss without having to modify it. All right, so let's cut into this bad boy and we'll take a taste test. Okay, here it is. Even the wings, they didn't get uh, burned. So, cut into the skin. Oh, look at all that juice right in there. This has been setting for about 15 minutes. Look at that. Falls right off the bone. Look at that piece of chicken thigh right there. That is going to be delicious. Look how juicy that is. Okay, let's cut a piece of breast meat off. We'll just slice a piece off. Look at that. Look at that. That is so good. All right, let's take a taste of this. Here it is, rotisserie chicken on a Pit Boss pellet grill. Oh, mm. That's the breast. And it is tender and juicy. Tastes great. Got the spicy SPG on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, it was 80 bucks. You do have to wind it. It is dishwasher safe, so I have it soaking right now. As soon as I clean it off, I'm gonna throw it in the dishwasher. Mmm, great flavor on rotisserie chicken. That's all I gotta say. This was done, nothing special. I just put some butter underneath the uh, breast meat, some SPG, spicy SPG. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next video.